Welcome to the best list. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 lesbian movies of 2023. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10, Balaban. Жанночка, это подающееся лечение в заболевании, которое мы наблюдаем с самого твоего младенчества. Ты не одна. Есть и другие дети твоего возраста, которые были также заражены. Tradition and modernity clash, as do rich and poor backgrounds. In this gem of a movie from Kazakhstan, two teenage girls fall in love while one lives in luxury in a modern villa and the other one is from an orphanage for HIV-positive children. Against the backdrop of this blood transfusion scandal based on real-life events, they decide on a bold plan, steal a priceless hunting falcon, sell it, and start a new life in Paris. Majestic images, nail-biting chase scenes, and budding young love. Это почти невозможно. Наша с тобой жизнь точно короче, чем у других. Bonjour, je m'appelle Ardak. <coughs> Bonjour, je m'appelle Jana. Давай сбежим. Куда? В Париж. Да из-за тебя одни проблемы. Ты долбанная сука. Number nine, besties, less melee. Tranquille, ça retourne. Ça va quoi, ma grande? Je suis Panam. Et toi? Non, moi j'ai ma cousine qui habite là. C'est pour ça qu'on est venu emménager ici. Tu la connais? Tu la connais? Un quartier, c'est crasseuse. Peut-être que je suis une crasseuse aussi alors. Spending the summer with her gang. Nejma is a teenager living in Paris with her mother and sister. Her life is turned upside down when she meets Sina. From the other gang rivals in broad daylight, lovers in secret, Nejma finds herself sucked into a spiral torn between the gang's values and her own desires, which no one around her can understand, let alone tolerate. In the end, she will have to make a choice that will have a profound impact on who she is. Number eight, blue jean. I need you in two teams. Jimmy, can you get over here? Mike, over there. So, what do you do, Jean? I'm a teacher. Fantastic. What do you teach? P. Lewis, come on in. You got a man on the scene at the moment, then? No, I haven't. No. Jean teaches physical education at a secondary school. The year was 1988, and the Thatcher government passed a law prohibiting the promotion of homosexuality. Section 28. At school, Jean is not open about her sexuality with her students. This contrasts with her friend Viv, a tough, free-spirited girl who completely defies the rules. But Jean herself is not ready for this yet. With this new law, it is now impossible for her to be openly gay. When a new student arrives, Jean finally feels compelled to choose. I'm not doing headlights, am I? Sometimes. If anyone found out, I'd never work again. The gay and lesbian lifestyle is not natural or normal, and it never will be. What I don't get is how two girls actually... <laughs> Just ignore them. Is that what you did? I'm not talking about me. Can anyone tell me what fight or flight means? Fight or flight. What's wrong? You look stressed. I don't want my students on every part of my life. Every part of your life? What? 
What kind of example are you setting for her? Just because I don't parade my sexuality around like a badge of honour. How was that girl ever going to learn that she has a place in this world? Or she thinks she has a place in this world. You're the one with the problem, not me. This isn't a game, Lois. It's me life. I'm damaged. And in a way, you're not. At least you don't have to be. If I don't have to be, then why do you? Number seven, breaking the ice. Kontrollierst du mich jetzt oder was? Du hast das übersehen. Theresa, vielleicht freut sich hier noch im Training nur was machen, damit ich euch kennenlernen kann. Mira lives for ice hockey as captain. She leads her team with great determination. It's challenging to reconcile this with her role in the family vineyard. She runs the farm with her mother and her adventurous but increasingly demented grandfather. The new player, Teresa, completely unsettles her with her nonchalance and openness. And when Mira's missing brother Paul turns up, and the three of them get lost in the nighttime streets of Vienna, Mira discovers the freedom of breaking the rules, of reinventing herself, and understands that you can only love if you let go. What does it mean to be a captain? The captain is the best a team has to offer. Can you say you're that player, Mira? Every day I open the door and I step out. I look up and expect my world to was man offenbar bei dir machen kann. Abhauen. Number 6. Gateways Grind. Friendship, romance and an excellent place to boogie. The historic and infamous The Gateways Club was all this and more for London lesbians from when it opened its doors in the 1930s. This charming documentary takes us on a journey through the scandals and stories of those who frequented the establishment and those who grew up within its walls. With Sandy Toxvig's delightful narration, Gateway's grind will leave you both nostalgic and wistful. But I really went there to pick women up, really. You know, I stood at the bar, drank whiskey. It was a bit like a meat market. You did go down there, stand at the bar, somebody would say to you, do you want to dance? I Number 5. Girls Don't Cry. Ma tu tieni proprio a capa tosta, questo non parte. Davvero vuoi rottamarlo? Senti, Ale è un camper. Vabbè, ma che problemi ha questo camper? Tanti. Mia and Al couldn't be more different from each other. The two girls quickly become friends while secretly smoking on the fire escape. Their worlds collide when Al sets out to save her father's old caravan from the scrap heap, only to find Mia hiding inside, on the run, and with a secret. Their road trip from the poor deep south to the prosperous north of Italy takes them to incredible places and rundown areas, and most of all, it brings them closer together. Secondo me non lo sai. Ti devo chiedere una cosa. Ma c'è un momento in cui capisci cosa sei. È bello qui. Già. Devi trovare una cosa bella. Metti a fuoco, trattieni il respiro e scatta. Number 4. Mars 1. Il mio sogno è vir astrofisico. E participar de uma missão Marte 1. É isso mesmo que você quer? Ir para Marte? É lindo. É um sonho lindo. In this Brazilian family drama, from writer and director Gabriel Martins, Eunice, Camila Souza, a college student ready to leave home and even more ready to explore her sexuality, is one of four protagonists. Writing about Eunice's relationship with her girlfriend Joe in her rave review of the film, Drew wrote their hotter than cute meet cute at a club their dinner with Joe's wealthy family, 
the way they love each other in the sort of impassioned yet insufficient way college students love. It all just feels so real. Number three, sirens. And the mountain just outside Beirut, Lebanon's first all female metal band is getting ready to make some noise. Set against the backdrop of the Lebanese Revolution, this multi award winning documentary intimately chronicles the lives and music of Slave to Sirens, a band of five young metalheads. As their music serves as a refuge for Beirut's youth culture, the members wrestle with friendship, sexuality, and destruction. Its two founding members, Lilacy and Sherry, are at the band's heart. Their complicated relationship and subsequent tense fallout threaten the very fabric of the band. But the criminalization of homosexuality in Lebanon and the utterly devastating effects of their country's political regime pose an even more significant threat. Anytime a woman wants to be anything other than what society wants, it's always an issue. Instability, war, unemployment. I believe everyone is a slave in this life. But I don't want to live in fear. You guys ready? Me and Lilas, we had this tension. I never wanted it to affect the band. I thought it's all about music, but it wasn't all about music. Number two, so damn easy going. Här ser jag att dina två senaste uttagen inte har blivit inbetalda. Men jag behöver ju medicinen. Jag förstår det, men jag Nej, inte jag förstår inte. Det blinkar liksom i hjärnan. Jag, det, jag blir bara helt skitmaxad utan det. Alltså jag kan verkligen... Det är liksom... Det. Ja, 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 förlåt. Men jag jävla fickra! The Restless Mind of Joanna, an 18-year-old Swedish girl, is reflected in the sounds and images of this film. She suffers from ADHD and is supposed to be medicated, but that's a problem because her father can't afford it. It is very embarrassing, mainly as she develops warm feelings for Audrey. And these feelings are mutual. There are many hilariously painful moments as we are drawn into the whirlwind of her life. Will she be able to make a bit of money, even if there will have to be a few breaches of moral boundaries along the way? A light-hearted, refreshing coming-of-age story from Sweden, Jag vet bara att du inte skulle orka med mig. Det är... Varför inte? Vad skulle du säga då? Vad är efter person? Number one. Girlfriends and girlfriends. Esta historia empieza cuando Zaida, después de una ruptura, vuelve a Barcelona y se encuentra con Rocío, su amiga. Rocío tiene una novia, Lara, que tiene una amiga, Aroa, que tiene una novia, Julia. They are 30, but even though they are too old to be young again, they live as if they were 20, enamored with love. They destroy each other in their search for it, moving from ex-girlfriend to ex-girlfriend, relationship to relationship. Against the backdrop of pop and autofiction and the appearance of a famous singer, who we're never quite sure is real, we watch a game that begins when Zeta returns to the city after a breakup. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Todo esto en La amiga de mi amiga, dirigida por Zaida Carmona. Poliamor, el poliamor aquí ya sabes que no yo esto no lo trabajo.